What is resilience? Meet muscle man Max, three years old. In 30 years, Max is going to be diagnosed with cancer and given six months to live. His wife, Julie, so stressed by the experience, is going to leave him. But against the odds, he recovers and goes on to form a not-for-profit helping other families who are battling cancer. So what is it that makes people like Max so resilient to trauma, where people like Julie buckle under pressure? We don't really know. Neuroscience says that the brain's reward circuitry is involved, as are the genes that modulate that circuitry, focusing us on the positive things in life. Throw in the environment, parenting, health, education, and you've got a pretty complex equation for resilience. So some of the stuff that we have is what we're lucky enough to be born with. Like some of you have sweets stuck to the bottom of your chairs. Lucky you. For the rest of it, it's the stuff that we get handed to us, the coping skills, and the tools that we learn. Understanding the biological basis of resilience helps us to develop more tools for the people who really need them. Thank you very much.